I need an explanation. Where is Ada? How the hell did she suddenly die? You tell me! I'm gonna raise seven. I'll take good care of them. Stop right there. Before she died, she left him in my care. I'm gonna take care of seven. What brings you here so late? Daisy, I... I want to talk to you. Look, I know you're in a bad mood. Because of Ada's death. But... I can't help you out. Don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> Easy. I employ you. If I'm in a difficult spot... Can't overcome it. Can you just sit and When it comes to grieving, no one can help you but yourself. <laughs> I really wonder what makes you turn your back on me. I mean, you can get along with dogs, but what's wrong with me? How about. You treat me like I'm a dog, huh? Just talk to me the way you talk to dogs. What I need now is a listener, and... And I... I believe you can understand me. And why do you think that? I just do. And besides... You're the most... Normal person here. You think we're all freaks here or something? It's not that bad as you think it is. Okay. If you really want to be one of my dogs, then I'm willing to try to listen to you. You've only got ten minutes. Any longer and I'll have to charge you. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's wrong with you? Daisy. Do you remember your first love? Luke, hear me out. I don't want to talk with you about my first love, okay? You want to talk about Ada, right? Just get to the point. It was a rhetorical question. Yes. It's Ada. I went to the funeral today. And now I feel empty inside. I'm so sorry about her death. Speaking of her, I have to bring up that bastard Chuck. When we were in university, Chuck stole Ada away. I misunderstood what Ada was thinking. That she left me because Chuck was richer than me. But now I know. Since they got married, why didn't they get happy like? Fate was mocking me. They argued a lot. For the issue of kids. Ada was a good woman.
Bad insisted on staying with her back then. She might have been happy, even though I didn't have any money. But... You can't undo the past. Yes. The past can't be undone. Maybe destiny can't be undone either. I don't know what happened between you and Ada. What I do know is, it's hard to let go of the past. But sometimes you have to. Life is like a cup of black coffee. It's bitter at the beginning. But once you get used to it, you begin to enjoy it. <sighs> But how? <sighs> it's not an easy task. It's not like emptying the trash. Memories can't be empty. stick together. We're all satisfied. <sighs> Thanks, Dave. Thanks for listening to me. Forget about it. I need to register. So it's your first time here? Yeah, that's right. What's her name? Molly. What's wrong? I discovered in her mouth behind one of her teeth, there's a large white lump about this big. Okay. How long has it been? Three or four days. Let me see. Come on, baby. Come on, open your mouth. Hey, look. Has she been eating? Yeah, she's eating like normal. Uh... Is it a tumor or something like that? I don't think so. Go ahead, take this here and head upstairs. Okay. And you can find Dr. Flynn in the consulting room. Explain okay. to him all the symptoms you've seen, and he'll have her checked out. Just okay. go up the stairs right there. Okay, thanks. Sure. Okay. Where is everybody? Why am I up here all on my own? Hi. You wicked girl, where have you been? Did you ask for Daisy's signature? I went to look for her, but she still hasn't come back yet. Oh, yes. She went to find Seven with Luke. Is it a date? It's not, okay? Both Luke and Daisy are worried about Seven. Before he was waiting for Mimi to come back to him. Now he's waiting for Ada. <laughs> That's so romantic. His love for her is so pure. You're ridiculous, do you know that? This isn't some soap opera. Go and take your medicine. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hello. So then, is little Molly okay? After looking at her, the doctor said it's just a calcium buildup. It's nothing serious. That's great. I'm happy to hear it. Hmm. This is a great place. Your hospital is big and professional. 
Of course. And the next time you need our help, we'll be here. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Okay, okay. See you then. Okay, I'll be going. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Daisy, I've searched everywhere. Where did Seven go? Ada's hospital. Yeah, I'm going now. Seems you were right. Seven's right here. Back when he lost Mimi, he did the same thing. Now that Ada is gone, it's what he needs to do. Seven? Let's go home, okay? Seven? Seven. Let's go home, okay? Let's go. Come on. Daisy? Hmm? Can I use a projector tonight? Why do you need it?
Come on. Come on. <laughs> Bite. Bite. Come. Hey, come here. Come over here. Good boy. Come on. Come over here. Come here. Good boy. Come on. Hey, all these animals have been styled by Johnson, haven't they? Yes. All their styles were designed by Johnson. Takes a lot of time. Hey. But it feels like letting Johnson have his way with them is psychological torture. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> hey, Eva. Meow, meow. Hey, Meow Meow is indifferent to every other animal here. But it would appear that she's got a little bit of a crush on Seven. like us can't understand Precious dog, you don't know how much I love you. Your smile warms my heart, I love my life. You don't know how much I love you. Listen to me. If you hurt a feather on him, I will personally see to it that you're neutered. Let's go. Let's go. First off, your main point of contention here, although I can't deny it, it doesn't mean I buy it. But as far as I can see, Seven's just curious about the world. The only reason he went into your lab was to satisfy his curiosity. Luke, 
We all know that critical thinking isn't your strength, but even you can't believe that. It's obvious that Seven went to my lab to release Laser while I was in the washroom. Daisy, this is the animal hospital. We have rules here. Animals must be secured. Is Seven above the law here? Flynn, we taking dogs that are patients or are strays. But Seven doesn't belong to either group. Wouldn't that be correct? Those rules don't apply to him. But I'll keep a closer eye on him. You'd better be more careful. Otherwise, I'm using my scalpel on you. <sighs> Except Seven and you, who else would do such a stupid thing? Come on, Johnson, Johnson, we're in the same boat. It's my fault. I'd like to apologize to you on behalf of Seven. A great hairdresser like you should accept my apology and forgive me, right? How many times do I have to remind you? I'm a stylist, not a hairdresser, okay? It's very simple. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I'm sorry. On behalf of Seven, I'll apologize to you sincerely, okay? Look at you. You're so popular worldwide. A handsome and fashionable stylist like you should forgive me and let it go. Am I right or am I right? Hey, enough already. Stop the sweet talk, okay? Go back to work. Oh. God. I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you. Now go wash the dogs! Okay, no problem! Get the doggy nice and clean. Mm -hmm. Luke, if you don't keep an eye on Seven, I'll ask Monster to cook him up and serve him for lunch. What happened? Is he, is he causing more trouble? Come and see. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, upstairs, upstairs. I'm not as as you. Go! What's wrong? Go! What's wrong? No, no, no! No! What's wrong? Hurry up! Take <gasps> a look! Seven! You little jerk! Do you stop causing trouble for me? Luke, can you please keep a better eye on him? If Toto has a heart attack, she'll never find a husband. <laughs> Eva, just remain calm. This isn't that serious. Toto's strong enough. She's not afraid of Seven, I promise. I'll find her a good parrot to marry, okay? How about that? Do you mean it? Of course. My poor Toto. This must be tough seven, for you. Seven. Be this good. Is, don't cause trouble for me, right? Seven's caused a lot of trouble for you, right? Uh. Hmm? So you heard about that, Daisy? I've never seen a dog cause as much trouble as Seven does. <sighs> he released Laser just to scare Johnson. Seven really is something. <laughs> Daisy, are you praising him or what? He always makes trouble for me. It's more like he's a devil sent here to torture me. Seriously. Well, I can see that you're smiling. What? Such a rare sight. Luke, don't you mock me. <laughs> hmm. What is Meow Meow doing over here once again? She's always coming to visit Seven. Are you serious? Eva told me that every time she takes Meow Meow away from Seven's kennel, she always ends up coming right back. Well, don't be looking at me. Then what's going on? So it's possible. She has a crush on Seven? You can't really think that. She's a cat and he's a dog. Doesn't matter. Anything's possible. Have you heard the story of the wolf fell in love with a sheep and they had a happy life? What are you talking about? Are you mad or what? I think it's absolutely abnormal for a cat to love a dog. We should stop them. Well, what if Seven's Meow Meow's true love? You can't do that. But it's unorthodox, okay? Animals do have the right to pursue true love, but they should stick to their own kind. 
Let him go. A cat in love with a dog? Are you kidding me? No, it's the truth. Go and see for yourself. I don't believe Lynn, that. science can't explain everything in this world, especially love. So anyone has the right to love, regardless of age, gender, and race. Oh my god, what happened? Avin! Coming! I'm almost done with the last dish. Go and start eating. Who the hell did this? I just put that out there. What the hell happened? Must have been Seven. Hey, what did you say? Do you have evidence to prove Seven did it? Who else could it be? I can't think of anyone except him. Maybe Lola did it. Quiet. Lola could have come in here too. Don't you okay, okay, do that. Stop I know it. it. Let's find Seven and see what there is to see. Guys, let's go. Seven is lying, doing nothing. It couldn't have been him. You see now? Seven's sleeping. So it wasn't him. But who did it? It couldn't have been Lola either. It's weird. Hey, what's that? It's rice, isn't it? <gasps> Looks like vegetables as well. See what your dog has done? Seven! Oh my, Seven! You're a pretty good actor, aren't you? What a good actor! Yeah! Luke, what about us? Are you gonna make us eat dog food? Daisy? Could you... Pay me this month's wages in advance. I want to treat everybody to lunch. Can you even afford that? Of course I can. Daisy? Forget it. Lunch is on me today. Really? Oh, Daisy, you're like my angel. I'm so touched by her. This is really kind of you. You're an amazing woman. <laughs> Shut up. Stop kissing my ass. I don't buy it at all. I'm warning you. Keep an eye on Seven. If he makes any more trouble, I won't be bailing you out. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Get on it. Come over here. Step. Come on. Oh. Would you get on it already? Why are you such a naughty boy? I need to teach you how to behave. Come on. Come. Come. You think I killed Mimi, and you hold that against me. So you're causing trouble, and making so many problems for me. I don't blame you. Now Mimi and Ada are both left. You think they're dead because of me. But I promise you, I'm not the cause. I also feel bad and heartbroken. Before Ada dies, she asked me to look after her. And I promised her that I would do all I could. And find her to keep my word. <laughs> and I need your cooperation. Since Adrian trusted you to me, I'll feed you, protect you, and talk sense into you. I'll punish you for making any more mistakes. <laughs> From today on, you and I will make peace. Start getting along. Okay? <laughs> I... I know it's hard to get through to you. The hardest thing I've ever done. Hopefully it works. <sighs> what are 
are you doing, Seven? Oh. Daisy! Daisy, open the door! Open it! Oh. Oh. Daisy, something terrible just happened. What's wrong? Something's wrong with Seven! What happened to him? I was sleeping on my bed just now. When I woke up, I saw Seven staring at me with evil intentions! And then? What happened after that? Are you awake or not? Of course I am. Come on and I'll show you. Wait, I... Let me get a coat. Daisy, come... Come on. You know what? Oh my god. This is a big deal. A man and woman. Say in the same room with the door open. What are they gonna do with the door open? Huh? No. He. He. He wasn't like this. Gosh, Luke, you're an adult man, aren't you? Why are you afraid of the cute little dog? Labrador and mild mannered. Coward. Wait, da Daisy. He looked like he wanted to kill me. It was really unnerving! Jeez, calm down. He's just watching your room for you. Time to sleep. Wait, Daisy, don't go! <sighs> Daisy! Seven, are you a dog or not? Let's fly! <laughs> Let's fly! <laughs> Come sit here. Where's Mom? Eva, come to my office, please. Okay. Come, let's go visit Laser. Lola, stay with Flynn, okay? Daisy, are you going to talk about Lola? Mm. It's a good thing that you two are together. And I know life isn't easy for you, but Lola is so little. There are so many animals in our hospital. It's not safe for her here. So I can't keep Lola here. And only our staff can live in the dormitory. I think you have to find a better place to settle down. Daisy, you know that rent is expensive. I don't have enough money to rent a room. Lola is still young, and I have to take care of her. She's only been here several days and isn't familiar with the environment. I must keep her by my side. Daisy... Can you give me some time? Eva, the hospital doesn't belong to me. I can't make that decision. As a director, I have to see the bigger picture. I can't break the rules for anyone, even if you have your reasons. If you can't find a place for Lola, I'm sorry. I'll have to ask you to leave and find another job somewhere else. I'm sorry. Daisy, thank you. Very much anyway. If that's all, I'll get going. I'll give you an answer soon. Mm. Wow, leopard patterns are popular in this autumn winter collection. I'm getting a lot of inspiration here. This is great. Are you... Planning on making dogs into leopards? Look, I think my taste in fashion is on totally different levels than yours. <gasps> That's why I can't discuss this with you. Oh. Huh. Huh. I gotta say that being around you as long as I have is affecting my judgment. Luke! Mm hmm? Hmm? Yes, come on, hurry. What's wrong? Huh? I need you to do me a favor. Eva, get to the point. What can I do for you? I'll help you if I can. Can you find some place I can send Lola to live? What? It's just been a few days. Why are you sending her away? Daisy told me that she doesn't want Lola living on site with me. She says it's against the rules. What the hell? 
she has really crossed the line this time. Lola's your daughter, and she's a kid. How can she live apart from you? Besides, there must be some place for her to settle in at such a big hospital, huh? Gosh, Luke, calm, calm down. I can understand, Daisy. What's more, if you go talk to her now, you'll sell me out. Eva Cinema, you just leave it to me. I'll go talk to her. Mm. No, Luke. Luke, you'd better know what you're doing. Daisy, I can't figure it out. Why did you tell Eva to send Lola away? Those are the rules. Luke, but we set the rules here. How could you send such a cute girl away? How could you make a girl like her live apart from her mom? I know how it is to be apart from your mom. Don't lecture me. This isn't a matter of feelings. It's about principles. Forget about principles. Daisy, I'm so disappointed. In my heart, you get this. Whatever you might think of me doesn't even matter. Come back! Mom! Mom, come! Bailey is stealing my food! With seven around, no one's gonna bully Lola. Daisy. I promise you that Lola won't affect my work. Just please let her stay here. Look, it's been almost a year since I last had her around. Okay. If I insisted on keeping you apart, the others would blame me. Come on, Lola. Come, say thank you to Daisy. Daisy, thank you. Daisy. Have some cookies, please. Thank you, Lola. Daisy, look, kids are adorable. Why not find a husband and have one? Eva, you need one more than I do, okay? At least I'm working on it. She couldn't care less about finding her mister, right? Morning, Daisy. Mm. Where is Luke? Why is he late again? Look, he's a master of Capital Medical University. He'll be here eventually. Eight, give it back! Eight, seven, give me my shoe back! Seven, give it to me! Eight, seven! Give it back! Seven! Hey! Come, give it back to me! <laughs> seven, give it back! <laughs> seven! <laughs> Hurry up! Give me my shoe back! <laughs> Give me my shoe back, okay? <laughs> Don't run, Seven! Don't run, Seven! Hey, hey, hey. Seven! Mm. Come here! <sighs> Give it. <laughs> Daisy. Hey! Da Daisy! Where are you going? Daisy! My shoe! My Take it. Put it on and join us. <sighs> Look, Daisy. Well, I shouldn't have been late this morning. It, yeah, it's Heaven's fault. He took away my shoe and I, I, you know, I was just... Stop. Here's what I want to tell you. Eva, keep an eye on the animals when they're getting drips. Dog owners don't like it when they're hooked up for too long, all right? Okay, I got it. Johnson. Yes? 
One of our customers complained that you didn't sell his dog how he requested, so no bonus this month. <laughs> the customer wasn't all there. He asked me to shave a question mark on his dog's head. So what if I did an exclamation mark instead? <laughs> this isn't for you to decide. Your job is to give the customers what they want. And you, four tardies in one month. Your bonus has been deducted. If you dare come late tomorrow, I deduct next month as well. No, Daisy. Okay, that's all for today. Back to work. Hello, how can I help you? Come. Here, Thunder. Thunder, sit. It's Thunder, is it? Oh, yeah. What's wrong with him? Oh, he doesn't have an appetite to eat anything. He's so skinny, miss. This dog is a true hero to all of us. Please, please find the best doctor to treat him, okay? Okay. Oh, your director, is she here? Yes. Ming Ming, take Officer Huang to the consulting room upstairs. Okay, come with me. Okay. Thank you, miss. Of course. Come on, let's go. Salut! Salut! <laughs> 